Hello there guys, this is a video that's going to explain what has happened to iPayToken. I have just made a very long video explaining in detail. That one's about 30 minutes long, there'll be a link to that one underneath this one if you want to go and watch it, and you can do. It's quite technical. In this video it's just going to be short and sweet and just let you know what's going on and reassure you. Uh, earlier on today someone sold $100,000 worth of tokens which completely crashed the price and everybody panicked and a load more people sold off. The moment we realised it was happening, we took action to try and stop the bleeding. So, the person sold down to here. Uh, this little, I'll zoom in a bit. So, this was the $100,000. This was the panic selling that followed. And then from here down to the bottom, that was actually me. Uh, and I was doing that with the wallet that has been collecting all the fees from the buys and sells. So we had quite a lot of tokens in that wallet and we sold them so that we were able to extract $385,000 and that money is safe, it's sitting in a wallet and that money is going to be used to put the liquidity into a new token that is replacing this one. So we've got a new token on the way. Uh, we're working on that right now. It's going to take a couple of hours. In a couple of hours' time, we'll deploy that token. We're going to add that money into liquidity and some more as well. Then we will send people the tokens that you are holding on this version of iPay. Now, I need to say something about that. There are people right now that are buying uh, tokens for a tiny amount of money, as you can see. Uh, and these tokens are very, very cheap because the price has crashed all the way down to here. So when we redeploy the new contract and we need to send everybody their tokens, obviously we are not sending any of these people that are buying now tokens. Because if we did that, once we've had it added, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars into liquidity, these tokens that these guys are pining for a few dollars will be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. So that cannot happen. We cannot give those people those tokens. We can give them their money back, but we certainly can't give them tokens. So what we're doing is from this moment here, which is just before we sold off, we will look at the tokens that everybody was holding up to this point. So let's zoom, zoom, so like that. So we'll go up to this point here and we'll look at the tokens that everybody was holding up to this point and all you guys will get those tokens back and they will have the same value that they had at this point. Now, unfortunately, we cannot give you value all the way back up to the all-time high. That would be crazy. But when we redeploy, we have a lot of marketing coming. We've got CMC waiting for our new contract address and we have fixed a lot of problems as well. Uh, those problems were obstacles for people to buy. We had a problem with our liquidity pair. We had a problem with slippage. We fixed both of those. Uh, our contract was very unusual because it uses BUSD instead of BNB. That was causing us a huge number of problems. The other video goes into those in detail, but I just want to assure you that all of those problems are fixed because we are going to be using a BNB liquidity pair and a BUSD one. So if you want to know the details of what those problems were and how we're fixing them, watch the longer video. But if you're just happy to hear that they're being fixed and we're moving forward without any obstacles getting in the way of people buying tokens, then this video is going to be enough for you. The main takeaways that I want you to have from this is what has happened uh, up until this point here, this was beyond our control. That's just people selling and taking profits. We can't do anything about that. But from this moment forward, that huge drop right there, $385,000, don't worry, that money is safe. And that's the point where the value of your tokens considerably dropped. So that money's safe. We are redeploying. You will get new tokens. The new token will have a different contract address and we are making a video to show you how to, had, uh, how to add that new token to your trust wallet or your MetaMask and how to see the value of your new tokens. So all of that is happening right now. I will be making the new contract over the next uh, few hours. Uh, I'm working uh, with Simon so that we can make sure we get those tokens out to you as quickly as we can. We'll be working into the night to do so. Uh, and by tomorrow morning, we should have that new to uh, new contract up and running. You should all have your new tokens. And then we're gonna start a huge marketing push. Now, one last thing, we don't want this to happen again. So for that reason, we are going to be putting some measures in place 
that are going to prevent people from dumping too many tokens at once. So if someone tries to dump a lot of tokens, like here, 100,000 at a time, or here, 60,000 at a time, we're going to charge them a bit more tax than they would normally have to pay. If you want to cash out 2,000 or 5,000 tokens or something like that with respect to the chart, not a problem, tax is completely normal. But if you're going to dump 100,000 tokens and ruin it for everybody else, we're going to increase the tax. And the extra tax that we would take from that dump, that money goes into liquidity. And by raising the liquidity, we reduce the price impact of future people dumping. So that helps everybody. Now, you might be thinking, if you're going to stop me from selling $60,000, I'm just going to sell $5,000 over and over and over and over again. Uh, we've also got a measure in place to protect all of us from a person doing that. If someone sells over a certain number of tokens and they do it um, uh, frequently, uh, then they will get increased tax on the second sale and the third sale. It, wouldn't, it won't keep going up and keep going up. It's just that if you keep on selling over and over again, you're going to pay a little bit more tax than if you simply sold with respect for other people. So it's all about money. We want you guys to make money. We want to make money. We're all buying, we, we all bought these tokens. We're holding them. We want to make money as well. And we didn't like uh, seeing that giant red candle either. But it's the nature of the beast. People have made a lot of money and they want to take that money and spend it. So it happens. And now we want to put things as right as we possibly can, given the situation that we are in. So those are the fixes that are happening. If you want to know all the details, um, you know, all the nitty gritty things that have gone on in a lot more detail, there's another video. It's about 30 minutes long and uh, you can go and watch that one. But yeah, just rest assured that it's under control and we are putting things right. And in a short amount of time, just a few hours, uh, you're going to have new tokens and those new tokens are going to have value and then we'll do a huge amount of marketing. Uh, but obviously, people buying tokens right now for a crazy, crazy cheap price, uh, we're not going to add half a million dollars into liquidity, pump the price of your token on the new chart and then give you those tokens. That would be crazy. Uh, but if you were already uh, holding tokens and you're worried that they've dropped in value, you will get those tokens back. Uh, and of course, we'll get the price back up to here which is still a very, very high price from the place where most people bought in. Uh, and then from here, we'll do a huge marketing push, uh, which will enable us to push the chart way back uh, up beyond where it is at the moment. So that's our intention, that's our hope, and we are doing everything that we can to make that happen and to make it happen quickly. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. And we are very sorry about how terrifying this must have been when you saw it um, earlier on today. I guess that most people thought the developer has stolen all our money. It absolutely wasn't that. Uh, and rest assured, the entire of the team are very honest people. Your money is safe and we're putting all those things right. But as for those people that sold and they took 60000 or $100,000, they're gone. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Then, you know, when the chart goes up again, they're not going to be selling more tokens because they're out of here. So thankfully, they've sold and we're going to move on without them. And those people that can see the vision of this token, because it's got an amazing use case, those people are holding because you know that this $100,000 and this $60,000 in a couple of weeks' time, in a couple of months' time, that's going to be huge. This is only four or five days. It's only the very beginning. We're not on CMC. There's not really much marketing being done yet, but we have paid for marketing and they're waiting for our new contract address. That's all going to kick in later. CMC also is waiting for our new contract address. I mean, those things are huge. Uh, and of course, the use case. This token isn't yet being used on those websites, but when it is, it's going to explode. So yeah, all those people that have seen massive gains and you've taken your $160,000, sellers get wrecked. And in the future, that's going to be much, much more money. So yeah, it is scary today. And the money that you put in, it ain't looking good at the minute. And none of us like, uh, you know, looking at a chart like this. Uh, but moving forward, this will be a tiny little blip. And I'll tell you what, when the token launched, we had the same panic when this happened. That was somebody selling $18,000. That was somebody cashing out near the beginning. I looked at their wallet and they bought in right at the start for only about $400. And when they cashed out 18,000, 
That was a panic. We panicked. But let's zoom out and look at the big picture again. I mean, keep your eye on this here until we get the entire thing. There it is. It's nothing. It really is nothing. It's a tiny little molehill. When we were there, it was a mountain. But now we've moved on, it's a molehill. And we will continue to move on. And this mess right here, if that was on the new chart, it would become a molehill when the new mountain comes in. But because of the way we're going to redeploy, it won't be on the new chart. The new chart is just going to be beautiful green all the way to the top then you get your tokens. There we go, guys. That's all from me. I'm really, really sorry about the panic that, that happened earlier. I panicked as well. I was wondering where the hell all my money had gone. And, and Simon panicked, Marty panicked. We all panicked. Uh, but fortunately, we were in a position, a place to be able to stop the bleeding. And now we're in a beautiful position because we can deploy a fresh contract and it fixes all of those little problems that we had, the, the slippage, the BUSD issues, all of that stuff. So we're fixing a lot of things here. And uh, we're going to be moving forward with a much, much better contract. As a developer, that makes me happy. I feel much better about the contract that is coming than this one. I feel much better about the BNB pairing than the BUSD. And I feel better about all you guys that actually believe in the vision of iPay token and the way that it's being used. Because I know that if you can see that, you're going to hold. Because the sound now would be crazy. Right, see you all soon, guys. I better make some coffee and get to work. And um, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. If you have any questions at all, I'm crazy busy. Uh, so is Simon, but by all means, uh, try and reach out to us. I know a lot of guys are reaching out to Marty as well, uh, but I hope that this video has answered most of your questions. If you have any other questions, please do take the time to watch the other video as well. Your questions are probably answered in there, and we are really, really busy over the next few hours to make sure we can get this all good for you. See you soon. Take care. You're in safe hands. Bye-bye.